Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place Enter the Gungeon. Um, last time we played as the pilot, so today we're going with the convict. And I actually did miss something in the tutorial last time. There are, are unlockable items in there. And I actually should make sure that I'm on the right save file here. Give me a moment. That can be seen fairly quickly. I think I'm on the wrong one. Let's check that. Uh, yes, I'm on the wrong safer, so let's change that. And then we can do that again. Okay. So there is actually a secret room in the tutorial. And if you don't know where it is, I will now show you where. And that will unlock two more items. So we just need to uh, run through this, this again real quick. And uh, then we can get started. That shouldn't take too long, I think. And we need to talk with this guy. And do some dodge rolls. And I'm... I'm watching a lot of Enter the Gungeon uh, as myself, and so I, I, I have a lot more theoretical knowledge than I can work out right now myself. Um, and I will, will maybe go into a little bit more detail when it comes to it, but there's, there's a lot of stuff to this um, game that's not too obvious in, on the surface. And I hope that I can get good enough at the game to uh, showcase it at some point. That would be pretty cool. And I am playing it myself a little bit, of, just for for me on, on my free time. Not too much, because I don't have too much time to do it. But I, I, I'm trying to get better, and it's, it's just, it's a hard game, so it will take some time. <laughs> we'll see. And now we've got the pea shooter. We already know this. Yes, you want us to kill him. Thank you. And let's reload. And the tutorial itself is fairly easy, as you all know. Or, I assume you know. And I actually said something wrong, I think, uh, when I played the tutorial the first time. You don't actually need to do it. Uh, the guards at the entrance to the dungeon will let you through if you insist, I think. But it still it makes sense, considering that you unlock stuff. And yeah, it just makes sense to, to play it at least once. But a lot of guys that played this game in the beta, I think, did not do it. So they missed that, at least initially. And here you actually see the exit of the secret room, I think. So that's where we need to go, and it's on the left side. And to reveal a secret room, I'll, I'll show you how, how you can spot them, or should be able to spot them normally. Not that I'm particularly good at, or have ever spotted one myself, but <laughs> maybe one day I'll get there. We'll see. And there's the cracked wall. That's the side for the secret room. Okay, and it's actually... Usually I think the impact on the wall is different. And now we get the old knight's shield, which gives us two armor. And the old knight's helm, which gives us more armor. And both of them will be unlocked. So that we can uh, use them or find them in the dungeon. That's our boss fight, which we can't do yet, I think. So that's just not. Oh yeah, we got the item room, so that's an AK-47 once again.
And now we can take on the boss. And the dialogue will be a little bit different this time. So I'll not skip it. Or at least at the end here, I think. After we beat him. Which is really not that hard, assuming I can actually hit him. There it is. Yeah, wait, that shield. You found my shield, which means you know my terrible secret. It's true, I never conquered the Gungeon. I'm long I'm no longer sure this even is the Gungeon. How humiliating it is all that bastard's fault. <laughs> so that's no whose fault? That snake Blockner. We were supposed to be partners, but shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called off for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have made it. How do you know he didn't make it? Because if Blockner had changed the past, he would never have come to the Gungeon, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must have left. Or maybe he stuck, he stuck in the Gungeon too. It would serve the bastard right. If you find him, tell him many says hi, if you know what I mean. You want me to kill him? Hey now, nobody said anything about killing. But yes, please do. <laughs> anyway, I have nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the Gungeon and your past. So, that's the tutorial once again. This time with the additional items. And I really hope that this time we can actually free these NPCs. Uh, we saw them on both runs, if I remember correctly, but... Uh, I didn't find a cell key, or I died, or both, I think. So, the convict has the following items. We do get a sawed-off shotgun right away, which has pretty terrible range, but does get some good damage. As an active item, we got a Molotov cocktail, and the passive item is the enraging photo so after we get hit, we will deal a little bit more damage for a short time. I of course don't want to be hit if we can avoid it, but you never know. And let's see, this is the shotgun here. And we've got our PlayStation wizards, as I like to call them. Um, but with these enemies we don't really need the shotgun, so I won't use it just these small vampire bullets that are more annoying than they are dangerous. They just kill themselves basically. I think the the grenade ones are the most oh wow we actually got hit there. I should talk. Uh, are the most dangerous ones. But it's fine. Okay, uh, sorry about that. That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's see here. I should probably... Oh, hello, ghost. I don't like you. Oh, nice, we triggered that chandelier. Or whatever it is. And there's more small stuff. Oh, wow, that was close. Uh, but we don't really need... the shotgun for those. And there's actually a room we need a key for. Why? I don't know yet, so that's our boss room, which we don't want to do yet, but I would like to keep going, of course. I think it's really nice that these bullets are using the tables as well, at least sometimes, and flipping them and taking cover behind them, that's pretty nice. Okay, what's next? So in it's it's all mostly the first things you should probably learn is just the pattern recognition. So the the blue enemies, for example, should always shoot twice and stuff like that. And once you know that, you can at least predict what they will do, not ex necessarily where they will shoot or how the shots will intersect with each other, but you at least know what to expect from each individual enemy. And do I want to try this? Can I try this? I don't know. We'll we'll see. There. May oh wow, black chest. 
That's, I think, one of the best ones you can get. Heart of Ice. What does that do? Fires ice projectiles on taking damage. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Next, we're still looking for our shop. Which might or might not have something useful for us. Oh, and we already got a health. We also got a health upgrade out of that uh, out of that uh, heart, I think. That's really nice. So even if we don't flawless the boss, we still have some extra health. And we're actually back up to full health, so... I'm really happy with this. What is that? Table tech blanks. Which is really good, I think. Table techs tend to be very strong. Uh, they always get triggered when you flip a table. So they're usually not that useful against bosses, but on normal rooms, uh, which have tables, which this one, of course, doesn't, they will get triggered. And I think the table tech blanks just does every time you flip a table, uh, you get the blank effect. So every bullet will be gone. And that's pretty nice. And when they're so close together, we might as well go for the sword off. Okay, that's another normal chest. Okay, that's a gun, the silencer. And that means we won't be able to open this door, but maybe, with a little bit of luck, we get a key from the boss, or we can buy one. So we've got the trigger twins. And we can skip that. Oh, I use I misclicked. I wanted to do that and not use the blank already. So that probably wasn't the smartest idea, but it should be okay. We'll see. Okay, come on. And it would actually because one if we kill Oh no, we got hit. And we got hit again, so now it doesn't really matter anymore. And that's the ice, okay, and we got hit again. I'm smart. So what I wanted to say was one goes in rage once you kill uh, his brother. So I wanted to try and take them down equally. Uh, but that obviously didn't happen. Okay, so we got a heart back. Uh, there is a key some. Yep, there's the key. I'm blind. And then we also get the M1911. It's probably just a pistol. Yeah, it's it's just a pistol. But it shoots pretty fast. And I want to know what's in that room. So we will use the key that we just got to open this up and take a look. So what's in here? Just a shrine. So I could offer a gun for... Health, I think. I don't really want to do that. And I got armor somewhere. I don't know how I got it, but we got it. So let's see. Do I want that table tech? We can't afford it, so we won't. In that case, let's buy a key because we never, we always need keys. And then move on. And it's really unfortunate that I got hit there so often. I need to get better at uh, at avoiding the damage. And now we're on chamber two. Oh, that's the shop already. So there's the prime primer. I actually know what this is needed for by now. The laser rifle. That could be good. In theory, I think. I think it's a pretty it's a pretty okay weapon. So let's try this gun out. So two shots for normal enemies. Hello. Oh, I hate bullets. Okay, that's good. And we got ammo, which we can use for our silencer. And I am picking the ammo up right away, otherwise the rat will steal it. The only thing the rat does not steal is... Um, 
is hearts. Let's just go with the silencer real quick here. Oh, I'm just smart. I'm not really good at multitasking today, apparently. And I'm missing a lot of dodges. Yep, I'm missing a whole lot of them. And another one, wow. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I need to do a warm-up round in the future before recording an episode here. Oh, wow. Uh, of course. I got hit again. But we got a key. Um, but I might need to spend some money on... On... Health. Yep, I'm having a little bit of trouble playing and talking today for some reason. And we're almost dead. Let's see if we can change that almost. <laughs> oh, there's still someone. That... I did hear a fire, didn't I? Maybe that was just fire going out. I don't know. So let's open this. Oh, the metronome. That's really good. Uh, I think I didn't have that before, so let's take a quick look. Improves equipped gun on each sequential kill. Taking damage or changing guns will reduce the bonus back to zero. So I'm at half health anyway, so I can't, I, 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 I'm not allowed to get hit. But for every kill, our weapon will do more damage. So that's pretty good. Uh, but I'm not allowed to change my weapon, otherwise I will lose the bonus. And there's a nice sound cue as well. So I wouldn't mind some health drops at some point in the near future. Oh, snipers. That could maybe become a problem, but we'll, we'll see. The bombs and ghosts were a little bit more annoying in this room. The sniper didn't really have time to get a shot off. Okay. Oh no, I lost the health again. I wanted to flip the table, but I was too far away and couldn't do it. And I will just pick up the ammo for the this weapon again. And I will use it on the boss as well, if we if I live long enough. Uh, just... Yeah, okay, there's our boss. But I don't really want to do it yet. We should buy some health first, because that we will need anyways. Uh, and I will probably end up buying the second one as well, but you never know. It depends. And we have enough weapons, so I'm not really in need of buying that gun there. Even though I would kind of like to, or get the Prime Primer. But that one costs over 100 casings, if I remember correctly. And we just don't have that in our budget. And maybe there will be one more item room. I think there should be at least two. But we'll see. Oh, this is actually really dangerous. They knock us back. And if they knock me into the, one of the pits, I will lose health. Not something I want to deal with. Okay, nice. More health. More health is always good. Bullets. Well, they're all bullets, but you know what I mean. Okay. Shotguns. More. Come on. Wow, they're taking a lot more hills than I assumed they would. Oh, the weapon is not dealing as, a, as much damage as I assumed. Okay, the vampire is no big deal. And let's just stay away from them. They will kill themselves anyways. And as long as I don't get hit again. And there's our second item room. Okay, nice. What is this? The moon scraper. And this is actually our shop again, so we need... Oh no, there's our, our shop guys, which we need to free. 
And I do know by now what to do here, but we don't have the necessary items, so we need to do our boss. But let's buy the health first. And I will not switch my weapon. Picking up a new one doesn't destroy the uh, metronome buff, I think. At least there was no sound cue, and I think from the description it should be okay. Um, but switching the weapon will, so I will keep the moon scraper for now. And it's the Beholster. It's actually okay, I think. We'll see. And the moon scraper is a pretty nice weapon. The bounce back is not too significant for... Oh wow, I fell down. I'm dumb. It's not too significant for us at the moment, but he's not moving a lot and it's dealing a lot of damage actually. And I got hit again. As long as I don't die, I'm okay here. But we shouldn't, I think. There it is. Okay. I could have avoided that damage, probably. And there's our cell key, finally, so we can get the shop unlocked. Um, and now I don't mind switching weapons. And what did we get here? Shock rounds? What do they do? Links bullets together with chain lightning. That sounds pretty good. And we'll see how that looks like in a moment. I think I already I, I saw that somewhere already. And they run a shop up at the breach that allows us to buy uh, un and unlock new weapons and items in general. In general. So it's pretty important for us to to find them and unlock them. But at least we did make it down to chamber three again. Okay, and that's the... Oh, wow. Hello. Hello again. Oh, crap. That... This weapon is probably not the best one for the chain lightning, but it does look pretty good. Wow, die. Thank you. Uh, so a shotgun would probably be better. Let's try that. Uh, it's got a, the range is still horrible on that thing, so let's just keep with the uh, with this weapon. I like its uh, shot frequency and stuff like that. A few more shots, and I don't know. Maybe the shock bullets themselves just do a little bit more damage, and it's not just the link uh, between them that's additional damage. Uh, either way, it's it's okay definitely not a bad item to have. If I get a more powerful shotgun, we maybe can make better use of it, but as it is, it's still okay. Oh, hello. That's a... Oh, wow. And I am getting a little bit better at dodging by now. I think maybe playing a warm-up game in the future might not be the worst idea ever. Oh wow, he shot two at once. That... We didn't see that before, did we? So a non-combat room is a good room in my book. Green slimes. Probably poison. Oh wow. These guys are annoying because they shoot these and then that happens. What's next? Nothing. Okay. So I'm getting better at the moment. And we get big iron. That's a shotgun, I think. Yep, so let's try that out for a change. Oh, what? Something damaged me there. Probably a ground effect that I did not recognize. That's fairly stupid. And I got hit again. And I'm close to dead. And I need to be very careful and I need to remember that I have blanks. Because I really tend to forget about them. But I like this shotgun right now. Goodbye. Yep. And even if we miss, 
heavy shock band does deal some damage to them, so that's pretty cool. If it can be called like that, the... you all know what I mean. Oh, some fading, and I probably could have just triggered these here, but it's, it's fine. Goodbye. That's it. And there's an item room. What the hell? We lose our bonus here, but this light is... is weird. We need a key anyways, but still, what's up with that? We need to find our shop. This room won't help us. Um, the item we get there, I mean. So I won't bother with it. And let's instead take care of these guys. Oh wow, that's a pretty big ricochet. Come on, die. And one more. Oh nice, some health. Where is it? There. And more ammo. And I'm really happy that they're actually one of the Chamber 3 bosses, the Trapnot, the big tank, uh, was pretty difficult, I think, and they, they nerfed him, or are about to nerf him. I'm not sure if the patch is live yet or not. Um, he was doable before, of course, but they do make him a little bit easier, which can only help me, at least, uh, while I'm still learning the game. Sure, at some point I, I probably wouldn't mind the difficulty anymore, but it's 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 nice regardless that they react pretty quickly to, to the criticism and feedback from the community. And the overwhelming opinion apparently was he's a little bit too strong. And I would like to find the entrance to our shop, so we'll go down and left instead of right. And it looks like it's at the end of this room, if I saw it correctly. Yes, there it is. Okay, perfect. What do we have available? We do have a key, which I want to buy. But aside from that, maybe the half heart. Or some ammo, a regular shotgun we don't really need. Uh, let's open this up, why not? And now let's get that that chest. I still don't know what that light means. Maybe it's a special kind of chest, even though it's green. It's kind of like a crosshair. I don't know what this does. But what is this? The red guan stone. Dodge up. So what does this do? Improves dodging. Is 40% dodge side greatly improving dodge row speed and distance. Okay. Sounds useful. Oh wow, I almost fell in there. And I I forgot about the metronome, so what weapons do we actually have available right now? Um, I think I want to keep with the shotgun for now. It's working out fairly well. And there's our boss, so there I probably don't want to go with that. Let's go with the Moon Scraper. In this case, again, it's a beam weapon, which we can direct fairly easily at our boss, I hope. But let's buy the Half Heart and keep it at that. So who do we get? We get the Cannonball Rock, which should actually be okay, I think. At least I hope. And I immediately get hit. And I get immediately get hit again. And I get hit again. And I'm dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was... <laughs> the bosses. I need to focus more on dodging and less on shooting, apparently. Uh, uh, oh, well. It is what it is. But before we end this episode, let me just show you the 
shop real quick so that you can see what we can get there. So this is our shop. There are six items available and once we purchased all six of them, we will get a restock of new items. So let's just start things off. I think down here is the cheapest one, the Thompson Shop Submachine Gun. Then we've got a heart bottle, which is a health upgrade. It's always nice. Um, and next, let's just buy something for four, which is the rocket powered bullets. So we've lose, uh, used up all of our hegemony credits, but there, there will always be more of those. So that's the convict. Um, pretty good starting character, I think, with a sort of shotgun and stuff like that. And uh, definitely helpful for me because I tend to get hit and that buff is pretty good. But I don't know. I, I, I need to improve. So this is where we will end the episode for today. I hope you still enjoyed me screwing up. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Gungeon, just subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.